You'll learn how to create part families using parameterization resources and block tables in this class. Save time inserting elements from different project dimension properties on account of these part families. Let's see how to put them into practice. Open the iProfile DWG file and double click the block to start your work. Then let's see how to configure the profile for this part family to get different profile sizes. This lets you insert the same profile in several different projects when different dimensions are needed for the same profile. See how when you use geometric and dimensional constraints, this block will be completely parameterized. However, you just need to create the block table. First insert the block table parameter to create the table. When this tool is enabled, a point is requested to define the point for fixing the parameter and also the number of displayed grips. This last option is set at 1, as this is the default setting. Select 0 for the other value so no other grips are displayed. After confirming this last option, the Block Properties Table dialog box is displayed. Click this button to insert parameters used for creating the table. Select the desired parameters in the new displayed window. In our case, select all listed parameters and click OK to confirm. Notice how the parameters are displayed as columns in this area. Before inputting the values in the table, you need to create a new parameter used to specify the profile module name. Click this button to do this. Type name in the parameter name box on the new displayed screen. Let's define type for the string option used for text insertion. There are other options in type. Real enables you to insert any numerical value. Distance enables the insertion of numerical values for distance definition. Area enables value insertion for defining object area. Volume enables the insertion of values for defining object volume. Angle enables the insertion of angle values. After defining all properties for this new parameter, click OK in the box. Now your table has been defined. Now let's insert values for each of these parameters. The values here are listed in the Dimensions Profile I PDF file, which is one of the files attached to this class. After inserting all values, Click OK in the dialog box to save all your input definition data. Now let's test the block. Click Test Block. Notice how when you select the block, a grip is displayed. Some values are listed on this grip, but these values do not clearly display the model.
Let's return to the block editor to edit the block table. Click Block Table to open the Table Property box. See how the model names are displayed in the column at the end of the table. You must place this at the beginning of the table so the values in this column will be displayed on the Parameter Grip menu. Click the column name and drag it to the beginning of the table for this purpose. Click OK to confirm the change. Now let's return to the block test interface. Now, when you click the grip, the model names are displayed to facilitate the choice of the block. So in this class, you've learned how to create a part family used for geometric and dimensional constraints applied to the block table. This makes a big difference in working with AutoCAD to streamline project drafting. Create part families for other components and practice your acquired knowledge from this class.